Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today it's a match preview, Luton Town versus Manchester United in the third round of the Carabao Cup. But guys, before I get on with the video, can we smash the like button? Can we hit 80 likes for today's video? Comment down below your starting 11s and score predictions for this game against Manchester United. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And guys, if you want to become a member of my channel, click the link down below. You get exclusive perks if you guys want to become a member. So let's get on with the match preview now it's Luton versus Manchester United it's the first time in my lifetime I'm actually seeing this game the last time both teams played each other was back in 1992 where Man United got a 1-1 draw away from home do I think the same result will happen again maybe but today we're going to discuss some talking points about this game and do I think we can beat one of the best teams in Europe in the Carabao Cup. But before we do that, let's talk about the last game for both teams. So Luton got a 2-1 home win against Derby County, while United lost 3-1 at home against Crystal Palace. Like I said, the last time these two teams played each other was back in 1992, where Luton were in the top division and Luton got a 1-1 home draw against Manchester United. Obviously, a lot of things have changed since 1992. United have gone on to dominate Europe, while Luton have gone up and down the Football League. So let's look at the talking points for this game. Can Luton cause an upset? Yes, of course we can. Anything can happen. It's a game of football. No one's guaranteed to win, especially now there's no like extra time. It goes straight to penalties. It's 90 minutes, you know, if you put in a decent performance for 90 minutes, you can get something from the game. So yes, of course I believe Luton can get something from this game. Another interesting talking point is what starting eleven will Manchester United play? Will they play their strong team? Will they play a few youngsters? Will they play their reserve team? Either way, whatever team they're going to play, it's going to be a good team, especially for Luton. It's still going to be a tough test. But because they lost... 3-1 against Crystal Palace on the weekend. I do believe they are going to play some key players. So maybe Pogba, maybe Fernandes. I do think we are going to see some of their key players start in this game against Luton. Another interesting talking point is fitness. This is our fifth game in the season. While this is Manchester United's second game in the season. They're going to treat this like a pre-season friendly. But we are going to compete against them. We are going to give them a battle. This is our fifth game, like I've said. We are going to be fitter than Man United. It's not often you can say that, but we are going to be the fitter team. So that is going to be an advantage. Against Crystal Palace, Manchester United, you can tell they weren't fit. Palace was a lot fitter than them. So we should actually take advantage of how fit we are as a group of players. It's our fifth game in the season, so... Hopefully, we can use our fitness to our strengths. Another interesting talking point is, what starting eleven does Nathan Jones go for? Now, I know United fans may be thinking like, wait, surely Luton would play their strongest eleven? Well, we've got games coming at us so quickly. We also got our rivals on Saturday, which is more important. So, Nathan Jones, our manager, could make a few changes. We could play the same team that got us to this round which was the same team that played against Reading. And that was nine changes in our starting eleven. We can make nine changes again. You know, I'm expecting changes. I'm not expecting us to play the same starting eleven. I do think we'll be a lot stronger in the midfield. But I feel like we are going to play a different team that played against Derby on the weekend. It ain't going to be the same... 11 players. I could be wrong. I just don't think we'll play our strongest team because we've got so many games coming at us quick and fast after this game. Another interesting talking point is it's on TV. I know Man United players, they used to being on TV, but sometimes the Luton players, it may affect their performances. It shouldn't do, but it may do, being the fact that it's on TV. I'm gutted that supporters can't be at the game, it would have made a massive difference if there was a full house at Luton against Manchester United. The atmosphere would have been brilliant. The fans would have been on top of the players, creating a toxic atmosphere. It would have been great for everyone, including the players, 
to hear that atmosphere. So even if we were winning 1-0 or losing 1-0 in the game, we could cheer on the boys to help them get back into the game and get something from the game, basically. And then the final talking point is losing to Manchester United isn't the end of the world. Like, getting beat by a Premier League club while playing in the Championship, it's a cup game, you know. The league is more important for us. So losing against Man United won't do us any harm, but the opportunity is still there to cause an upset and to surprise a few people. Let's look at the head-to-head record between Man United and Luton. Well, as expected, Man United do have a better head-to-head. Luton have only beaten Man United four times in our history. Can we make it a fifth time tomorrow in the Carabao Cup? So what starting eleven will I play against Manchester United? Now, like I said, I do think we are going to make changes. So in goal, Shea, right back, James Bree, the centre-backs, Lockyer and Sonny Bradley, left back, Norrington Davis. I do think Glenn Ray will start in this game. Also Pelly Ruddock. And then I do think it won't be Berry, but I feel like it may be Shinny in the midfield as well and then as the attackers I'm going to go with Clark, Danny Hilton and Loire Loire. That is the starting 11 which I do believe Nathan will pick. A few changes to the team, not our strongest but I do think we can still cause an upset because we're going to be the fitter side. What is my score prediction for this game? Well I'm feeling confident after watching Man United on the weekend I do think we can cause an upset. I am going with a 2-1 win. I honestly do believe we can cause an upset and beat Man United. So there you have it guys that is the end of the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Drop a like on today's video if you did. Comment down below like I said your starting 11 and your score prediction. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Don't forget to follow me across all my social media if you haven't done already and I'll see you guys in the next video.